Hello, you sexy biscuits, and welcome in to an unboxing. You guys seem to enjoy unboxing videos, and I decided to treat myself with a brand new controller for my Xbox One slash PC, depending on what I end up using it on. About a month or so ago, they ended up announcing some new controllers, and uh, I needed to pick this up as soon as I saw it, because I ended up going for the Phantom White, which looks incredible from the pictures that I've seen of it. Ah, oh, just look at it, it's beautiful. It is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna be using this in all of my upcoming videos because holy crap, it's amazing. Okay, so looking on the back, it says wireless controller, Monet Sans Phil, controller wireless, controller Burskwaddy Waddy. <laughs> Is is this endorsed by the band Shawadi Wadi? <laughs> Elevate your game. Stay on target with a textured grip. Also includes Bluetooth for gaming on Windows 10 devices. As well as Windows 10 devices, I could also use it on my Nintendo Switch. This is the Magic NS, and it allows me to basically use any controller on my Switch. So that is awesome. I just want to say sorry if you guys see any cat fur. Bobo gets everywhere. Oh, speak of the devil, Bobo. Look who's come to see us. Hi, buddy. Yeah, you got to apologize for all the cat fur that's everywhere. <laughs> yes, do you like it, Bobo? That's my new controller. It's very fancy. So it says on the side that this is a special edition wireless controller. I'm not sure how true that is. I don't know if there's literally a limited amount of these. Um, also, it comes with AA batteries. Bo's very interested in that. Thankfully, I bought this off of Amazon. This is a battery pack and it cost me, I think, $12.99. And it basically just goes in and it lasts for about 20 hours. So I'm going to be putting that in it instead of the batteries. I really hate it when they do this and they put these really sticky things here. And of course, it ends up ruining the box. I could get a knife, but that would involve me having to get up. But with determination and skill, you can do it without damaging the box. And oh my god, I just did it. Ha! Huh. Okay, right. Let's uh, let's just fold that in on itself so it doesn't stick back on. Yeah, there you go. Right, perfect. That's not going to get in the way now. Okay, moment of truth. Are you ready? All right. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh, holy crap! Look at that. That is absolutely stunning. Let me just get this out of here a second. Let me get some good shots of this. Wow. Look at it. It's got these really nice translucent buttons. I also love the translucent design so you can actually see through. I like how it fogs up the further it goes in. So it ends up becoming completely white on the bottom. Kind of like, oddly enough, I have another controller here. This is my one I got with my Xbox One S. It kind of looks like that, but I think... I prefer the white on this one. It's not as kind of matte as this one is. It really does remind me of my old Game Boy Advance because I have the lilac one or the purple one and you could see through it. I just really like it when you can see the inner workings. Okay, analog sticks feel great. I'm guessing they would, <laughs> seeing as this is brand new. I do like that they have this now so you can actually see what ones they would be if you know them by color as opposed to what letters are on them. So that really does help people who don't really know the layout of a controller. I, I like this. I like it a lot. Uh, of course, we haven't put the batteries in yet, so we'll get on to that. I'm going to say it now. The Xbox One controller is my favorite controller of all time. It slightly beats the Xbox 360 controller just because it's a little bit bigger and it's beefier in the hands and I feel like it's more substantial when you're holding it. So what else do you get in the box? Okay, so you obviously get the batteries here, which I'm going to be saving for my PC controller now because I'm going to be using this one on the Xbox One. Um, I think that's basically it. You're obviously going to get a manual in here, but there's not really much point in getting that out because it's not really much to it. We know how to turn this thing on. So let's get a battery put in this thing and see if it lights up. Now, the only thing with putting this thing in is it's an absolute beast of a battery. And it does fit, but it's really bloody awkward. Okay, so I'm going to put this in. I think it's, yes, this way up. So that goes in here. I'm going to have to figure out to try and put this bloody battery in. I know it goes in one way. So you have this end, which obviously goes this side. And this side, which has the notch here, which goes down into this notch here. But that doesn't look right, right? Because you'd expect these to be on those. That doesn't make any sense. I wish I hadn't thrown out the manual. Do, 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 do. 
Ah, there you go. It went in. All right, so let's put the back on to this and see if this uh, works. Oh, God. Yeah. As I said, it's a bit of a beast and it's quite hard to get the back back on the controller. <laughs> okay, it's on. Right, uh, moment of truth. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, look at it. It's so lovely. Look at that. That's really bright, right? Hang on, let's... Is that brighter? You know what? I think that might be slightly brighter. So there you go. That is the Xbox One Phantom White controller. And good God, does it look nice. If you want to see more unboxings, then make sure to comment down below and tell me. So yeah, my first impressions, I really like it. I'm going to be honest. Thank you so much for watching. But until next time, that's me out. Bye, guys.